I'm Kate Chaplinsky for the HAN Network, and the Hospital for Special Surgery Outpatient Center in Stamford is our game day sponsor for Turkey Bowl 2016, and I'm here today with Dr. Maura McCarthy of HSS. She's an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in knee and shoulder surgery, and we're going to be talking today about injuries, how to avoid them, what to do after the fact. Dr. McCarthy, so happy to have you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now, first, let's talk about avoiding injuries in the first place. What can athletes do? Great question. So this is a, a common thing that people come in asking, and one of the most important things is to prepare for the sport. And so if you know that your sport involves a lot of cutting, pivoting activities, it's really a great idea to get in shape before the season starts to make sure not only that you're in shape cardiac-wise, but also for the particular sport. Right. And so even with preparation, injuries can happen on the field. How do you know when an injury has occurred and sh you should get it looked at? Right. Great question. So um, people are going to get knocked around a lot, especially in contact sports such as football, soccer, lacrosse, all the kind of things that we see patients for. And, um, you know, injuries are associated often with lots of swelling. So if there's a lot of swelling in that particular joint, whether it's the knee, the ankle, uh, or an upper extremity body part, um, there's going to be a problem. So swelling is not normal. Bruising can actually be normal sometimes, uh, but if it's excessive bruising, obviously that's something to get looked at. The other important thing about injuries to the, the legs is that if you can't bear weight on it. That's mm -hmm. one really important thing that obviously you shouldn't be playing if you can't bear weight on your leg. Now I understand women athletes, there's some additional concerns. What are those? Um, not necessarily concerns, but sort of things that we need to be wary of with female athletes compared to males. So um, women are particularly increased risk for certain injuries such as knee ligament injuries such as the ACL and the, there are particular reasons for it. One is sort of lower extremity alignment, how women's bodies are aligned and the second is sort of muscle strength and muscle activation during certain maneuvers such as cutting, pivoting, jumping and landing. Now what about getting on the field after treatment, after surgery, getting back out there? Right, great question. So um, we spend a lot of time after surgery really sort of focusing on the basics, getting muscles nice and strong again. And I have a couple criteria that I have before letting people go back. One is they have to be pain free. Two is they have to have full strength and full range of motion. And the last one, which is potentially the hardest one to get back, is getting confidence back after an injury. Now, Dr. McCarthy, HSS, obviously world-renowned, based in New York City, but now what's great is you've moved into Connecticut with the Outpatient Center. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Yeah, we're excited that HSS has moved into Connecticut. We're located behind the Chelsea Piers, and uh, we're excited to bring our care to uh, Connecticut. And uh, not only do we have some specialized physicians, we also have a great rehab staff of physical therapists who are trained at HSS. That's great. And I know athletes and possibly parents of athletes always going to be concerned about re-injury. Uh, how can we avoid that? What does HSS help with to, to kind of make sure that doesn't happen? Yeah, it's great because it's one of the primary things we worry about. And so again, having all those criteria that I mentioned before, pain-free, full strength, full motion, and the confidence to go back. HSS has a great program which uh, involves sort of testing people before they let them go back to play. It's called a quality movement assessment or return to play test. And it's really Really, really, really important. We try to have all of our athletes go through that before going back. And Dr. McCarthy, I know that you work a lot, especially with young athletes in your line of work, yes? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, uh, you know, a lot of young people get injured while playing sports, and so um, I do tend to take care of a lot of those young athletes, which is great because ultimately they have a problem, we get to fix it, and we get to get them back on the field. That's great. Well, Dr. McCarthy, this is great information for athletes of all ages and parents. So appreciate you talking with us today. Well, thank you very much. All right, we're going to throw it back to Turkey Bowl 2016 right after this.